welcome back to another video of wwe 2k24 anyway let's play hey i i know i'm probably the last person you want to hear about but i'm sorry about everything maybe not the last person i want to hear from but the last person i expected to hear from so we're talking to uh psycho sally here I can't believe I let my emotions get the best of me like that. There's no excuse. I'm going to reach out to Carly too. I hope you can forgive me. Are you gonna beat the daylights out of Rhea? That's the plan. Uh, do that, then we'll talk. Your terms are fair. Consider it done. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be intense. It's going to be a classic, Cole. Two of the most physical phenoms in the women's division are going to settle their very personal issue. A matchup this heated couldn't just end with a simple pinfall or submission, but it will all end here tonight. Oh, brutal forearm. Here we go, Psycho Sally. What's this going to be? Wheelbarrow. Flapjack. Impressive. What's our objective here? Well, outside the ring. Oh, it's the ambulance match. Oh, man. And she dodged that one nicely. Let's fight close to the ambulance, girl. Oh, she takes this fight to the floor. Rhea capitalizes there. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Backbreaker. The fatigue is setting in for her. She can withstand the punishment, though. Boom. Devastating kick. Oh, look out. And that one misses the mark. Not good. She manages to get control. Turned that one around. Has him up for the power slam and instead delivers the inverted DDT. Oh, man. Kick to the gut creates separation. Such an awkward area to, to fight here. Or... To the chest. To the face. What a redirect. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, she got out of it. Ripley avoids the attack. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Ouch. Backbreaker. Incredible how they were able to get all the lift needed to debilitate the larger opponent. Oh. Oof. Kick finds it. She steers clear of that one. Well scouted by Ripley. Late again. Chair into the face buster. There's that true brutality of real. Oh, this is not good. He doesn't quite like mommy. She's got an answer for that. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the ride this is when you have to make your move when you have to dig deep and carry your opponent into the ambulance whatever's playing here can't be good power ball being taken apart and might be getting a look of their ultimate fate right now reversal can they go on the attack what the heck? Get in the fucking ambulance. Boom, return fire with a headbutt. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Uppercut connects. She's starting to look concerned. On top of the ladder now. What the heck does she plan to do up there? No, 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 no! Oh, no! 
Why can't I ult here? Fucking hell. Take this. Leading to big bruises. guys but you might have to because it's the final time the last ride now is when she's got to do it throw her in the ambulance and shut the door dragging while pressing l1 begin dragging your opponent while dragging a uh, press circle to whip your opponent being dragged and mangled all the way to the back doors of the ambulance. And launched into the back of the ambulance. That's not where this superstar wants to be right now. Trying to at least slam one door shut. Now it just needs to get that second door closed. And they can slam this door shut. It's over. I can't believe it's so close. Almost there. Almost there. Surviving the shut-in door and escaping the ambulance. And the match continues. What a right suplex. And she knew Ripley's game plan. Trip guys, but you might have to because it's the and a longer way down. Last ride. Now make this your time. Get them in the ambulance and slam the doors. Ambulance is open for business. Are we close to hearing the sirens? Are you fucking kidding me? Just get in. Tossed into the back of the meat wagon. Get in there. Struggle just to shut the halfway home now. Inches away from ending. And they're not ready what? to this end just yet. Still more fight to be had. Gets dropped. Timely reverse DDT. How did she get out of that, dude? I don't understand. Tossed into the ambulance. Doing their best just to shut that first door. First door shut. Needs one more. Just close the second door and victory is yours. Shut the door. Seal their fate. Bye, have a great time. And they shut the door and have won this ambulance match. What a grueling victory. Here is your winner. Oh. to avoid the ambulance ride tonight shutting those ambulance doors had to feel very good no question that's a hard-earned win that is a hard-earned win honestly feel like those uh, tapping stuff is a little bit too too much actually okay let's see here Mick Foley. I think we need to talk to this guy after we upgrade. Yo, dude, we have three full stats already. That That's crazy. Maybe we should just go for submissions to make those things a bit easier, I guess. Because you should have won five minutes ago. Bang, bang. You shot me down. Ah, jeez, Mick. You pop up out of nowhere, huh? Just like you popped your little buddy, Psycho Sally, in the face. Man, that was brutality. I actually feel kind of bad about that. That's what separates the brutal from the boring, Cap. The only feeling Cactus ever had was wanting to taste his own blood pouring down his own face. We're a little more PG nowadays, so... When Cactus went out there and had a street fight with Triple H, there was no guilt. No fear, nothing but the cold, dead eyes of the man from Truth or Consequences. Damn, yeah, that was good. Great. 
now that you brought the brutality, you think you have that kind of fight in you? To take on Triple H? You leave Triple H to Jack. He's mine. But if you deigned to let me stand by your side back then, I'd sure want you taking care of his partner in crime, even if she's also authority. Would you be down to bring brutality to anyone? You saw what I did to everyone in my path. I have the brutality to grind anyone down. Then I've got just the match for you. Hold on to your hat, because if you think you know brutality, just you wait. Bang, bang. You shot me down. Picture this, Monday Night Raw, early 2000s. You're going up against one of the biggest villains in WWE history from a family of villains that make Genghis Khan look like Mother Teresa. You know what to do. Pull no punches, bar no holes, and if you want to do what old Cactus Jack would do, make good use of every tool at your disposal. Referee, please, bro. Thank you. Don't roll out, girl. I'm not done with you yet. What are you laughing at about? It's so dumb that it takes all my energy and I can't stop running. And I'm out of energy. Really, there's already three things outside, girl. Don't, don't, don't ask me about how this game works. Because that was not supposed to happen. Match is this. We can make a tap, submission, or pin. Look at how hard this is, bro. Like, what? It's like I didn't even tap at all. And she's on zero HP. I would have most probably pinned her. If she was in the fucking ring. Go in, go. In.
That's my ultimate, by the way. Down. Let's see your second ultimate. Nice. Not bad at all. Story complete. We got 12 points. We can level up again. Let's get that submission up, dude. I, I don't know why they made it so difficult. I mean, I know I can change it to make it easier, but I'm, I'm playing everything on normal. Like, I'm not going to change stuff because they can't balance it. Then it might become too easy. You're certainly making waves around here. Are you still spooky? <laughs> Not so much. Cool. I actually wanted to talk to you about your work outside of WWE. You've made some waves yourself. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. Would they be interested in booking a different WWE superstar? Specifically one who's me? Actually, they probably would. Want me to set it up? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. If they'll have me, I'll definitely do it. What's the gig? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. What a weird thing, dude. Big fan of smelling things. Right. Anyway, thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And good luck in your match with Zia Lee that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint. It's the only thing we can do that's left, I think. Bro, we're actually going to finish this, uh, this game as probably within real time for me today. I don't get it. The captain's been all over the internet because of a cheese smelling show? You're talking about cheese, please. Love that show, and Cap was great on it. Her observations about Gruyere pairings were actually quite astute. Oh, this is cheesy, even for you two. Win at any cost. Ooh! And Zion's focus got a bit shaken there. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Question if you skip going to the gym today. Ooh, bang. Lifting them up. Relative ease. Followed up with a discus punch. Distress showing on the face of Zia Lee. This is where Zia will be tested. Stomping down. Cover. Show what are you doing? And the rope will force a break. And Lee wants more from her opponent. This is the eye contact. This. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. An agile escape. Punch. She might be in some trouble now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. What was that? Picking up the pace a bit. Well, that look good luck with your fucking energy. Their attack on the arm and, and countered with a nut. Because now it's gone again. Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Pulls the trigger. Bang! What a knee. She 
She wow. That one. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. She's firing up, no doubt about it. Hooking it up here, what's next? Boom! Incredible suplex. Oh! Zaya gets out of the way. Oh, what a slam! What a power! What a dominance! She is being destroyed in there. This has just been an absolute massacre. Let's do it. Going for the home run. No, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Is the that what it takes to beat Zia Lee? And that will about do it, folks. Here is your winner. The Superstar. Zia Lee walking out of here tonight defeated. She fought like a warrior, but Zia Lee just couldn't get it done in the end. I think what I need to do is throw them more to get their energy wasted as well. Just throw them and don't don't even stand there. Just let them run, you know, 10 laps because that's how the game works. <laughs> Hi there. Sorry for sending a message out of the blue like this, but I saw you on cheese, please. You had an amazing presence, essentially, when you were waxing po poetic about uh com commembert thanks who is this the name's Alfie uh, juniper and let me cut the cheese to the chase <laughs> i'd like to represent you sorry about uh the cut the cheese joke i uh, knew it was dumb the second i send it shoot uh, represent me how I'm sure you have tons of agents slipping into your DMs, but if you choose to go with me, I can make your Hollywood career new uh, to new levels. TV, movies, maybe even video games. Who knows? I'll give it a try. I'm not sure how the uh, how much stock to put in these promises. But I guess there's no harm in giving you a try. That's the spirit. But there's something I want you to do. I'd like you to send some tape of your next performance to casting directors. I understand you're working with a co-star named JC Jane. Really play the crowd. Uh, show them the enthusiasm you had when you were tasting the Manchigo. I think that's how you pronounce that. Maybe rub it in your co-star's face too. Show me some range. Sure, Alfie. Whatever you say. Excellent. I won't. Uh, I won't have my uh, my people call your people, but I will be in touch soon directly. Maybe don't let Rhea know I reached out to you, but if you ever need a plus one, I'm around. Really, Alfie? Get us head to the match, baby. Well, if it isn't the internet, darling, the captain. Not just the internet. I feel like everyone is talking about her these days. She's got some serious buzz. But all the extra attention means more scrutiny. She's going to want to get a big win tonight. Ooh, where's the haymaker? The haymaker. Alabama slam. That was all. Flurries of standing strikes. All sorts of nasty. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Boom. Oh, kick. Nasty kick. Ooh. Ooh. Stinging kick. That offense taking a toll. Early. She can withstand the punishment, though. Mistake made by Jane. Let's go outside, girl. It's my quest. Oh, okay. 
Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Oh, that backfired on her. Backbreaker. Oh, kick wins. She saw it coming. Back into the ring. J.C. Jane just toying with her opponent now. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Boom. What's the next one? Show off to the charisma to your fans. Immediate. Uh, Im what? More importantly. Casting directors by performing a crowd taunt. Finds room and lands a jawbreaker. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stop. Dude, that's my boobies. What are you doing? It's being stopped. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. She re-enters the ring now. Jane giving the WWE Universe a scathing look. Definitely getting a reaction. Dominating shoulder tackle. She's starting to tire a little. Is it right? No, it's left. Oh, man. She can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Oh, look at this. Hair pull mat slam. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Big form. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. Don't your scene partner with right. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Here we go. Volcano suplex. JC's in big jeopardy here. Oh, here we go. Savage knee to the face. Can that keep JC down? What are you doing? I'm pressing up. Oh my, oh my goodness, bro. Uh, lever. Jeez. Makes a cover. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner. A superstar. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. JC Jane doesn't handle loss well, but I have no doubt she's already thinking about her next steps. That performance with JC was brilliant. Some of it felt kind of silly. Uh, that's was th that was brilliant. Acting is all about being uh, t in touch with your emotions. You totally uh, sold it. I was blown away. I'm sure. Listen, I'm going on edge of booking something big for you, uh, like big, big, huge. Please hold tight for just a while longer, okay? Fine. What do I what do I what do I got to lose? Exactly, thank you. You won't regret it. Hello, baby. I know you're just here to train, but I gotta ask, what was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match? Seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Not as concerning as when you went all bad guy on Psycho Sally, or started floating people in the ring, but still, doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. This agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me. I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? 
You mean that cheese smelling thing you did? Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that and thought you had some sort of potential? Hey, I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Does he seem legit or are we talking cheap looking suits and rental cars? I've actually never met him in person. Wow, oh, you're killing me here and definitely getting catfished. I'm, yeah, let's just say maybe you're right. I feel the same way. Honestly, you may be right. I've had my suspicions about the guy. But so far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless, not some probably fake internet poser. That's why I'm here, right? Training for my match? Just be careful. When whoever it is reveals themselves, I don't want you to get hurt. Don't send him any money. Of course not. Good. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs a loan so his aunt can get surgery. Come on. It's a joke. It's a joke, Mabri. The captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. Oh, I love her hair. She's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. The cat needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. Backbreaker! Out of the stiff kick! Ooh! Oh, what a kick! Oh, man! That's Tiga knocks the crap out of her. Oh, lifting their opponent up, the power and the strength. Oh, backbreaker. Knee right to the spine. Gonna do it a second time. What brute force. One is bad enough. Their spine might be shattered. Oh, kick connects. Oh, deadlift. Look at this power. Power slam. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. What the f Shoulders are down. Stops the count before it, too. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Finds a counter for Knox. What? Knox leaning against the upper right buckle. Shot to the gut will break things up. Get back here. Leg Lariat. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That, that, that's a bad landing. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Hold on. She could be looking for a submission move here. How did she do that while running? Almost a miraculous escape in a side slam. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Ooh. She avoids the contact. Oh, drop kick. Right on the money. Ooh. Well measured. She's enduring some damage. The competitor in Tegan is coming through here. I oh, had that well scouted. Oh my gosh. Can you just sit on the fucking top right buckle or I'm gonna riff, get out of the fucking way. A series of reversals. Then grab her. Thankfully, it looks like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox. Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. She's ready to finish this. Wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but he can't just interrupt the match. Where's security? And that tackle was a fortuitous turn for Tegan Knox. She's taking advantage of the distraction. And that's the match. Whoever that man was, he certainly didn't do Cap any favors here tonight. We got to get better security. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't have anything to say, dude. What? He looks like he's renting, for sure. I mean, who... I, I can't understand rich people that has a three-quarter pants, bro. It's like, dude, you can't afford full pants. Like, what's wrong with you? What the hell was that? Hi! <laughs> Sorry. Alfie Juniper. You're the flesh here. I know who you are, Alfie. Though I am shocked to see you exist. But what were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. Look, nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't help it. Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. What couldn't you help? I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity. Although, I may have misspoken a bit. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know. Uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista? I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista? Bro, I'm gonna go with John Cena, man. I know Batista as well, but John Cena's uh, reach is, you know. A chance to do a big budget film with John Cena? <laughs> Can't say no to that. Ah, then I won't either. <laughs> I'll let the casting director know. I'll talk to your people around here too. I'm sure when I give them my juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Alfie, thank you. I gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? I mean, most people doubt me. That's what allows me to be sneaky, like a ninja. My life is a video game in between what I mean, the zone. I'm a ninja, yo. Guess what? What's up? I haven't had a chance to watch Raw yet tonight. Alfie is real and he got me a big freaking movie role. Wait, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, congratulations. I start like now. I'm nervous. Uh, should I be nervous? You should be nervous, but you will do great. Uh, just don't go all Hollywood on me, okay? There's normally nothing else to do. Taking some time away to pursue a dream in Hollywood. But don't worry, WWE Universe, I'll be back soon. We sound like Dwayne The Rock Johnson now, I think. Coming back from break, first team to the set. Well, we fist bumped him. <laughs> Three months later? Goodness. Should I say next? I'm scared. Her next signing rumor rolled on the street is that after after months of shooting that new movie, Superstar is making her return to role tonight. Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Cena money goes a long way. It does. I'm hardly there yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading all around. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No, but there's been a lot of confidence in Mudslide 2, based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Mudslide, it sounds... 
<laughs> like it's gonna be on p-up soon dude perfect and i've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well you know made it more bespoke to me i'm excited to be back and bring some a-list buzz to raw a-list buzz very well very well indeed go to the match dressed like this There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Now, Miz doesn't count. Nonetheless, WWE and Raw is lucky to have the Cap back. Into a power slam. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. So this is a regular pun, yeah? Pun or submission. longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. She gets a quick kick out there. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Oh! Able to evade. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And that failed to hit the mark. Big form. Avoided that. Down in a hurry. Dude, look at that six pack, bro. Punch. Nasty. She the girl we're fighting against. Yeah, Colby, she has a bigger six pack than. Start can't stop this string of offense. My total muscles on my body. Oh yeah, she is really She's just laying there. It's like passed out, bro. This is the most opportune time to be looking for the fans' praise. Come on. Let's end your misery. Hooking it up here. What's next? Boom! Incredible suplex. Ooh. All the momentum is swung to her favor. She is Wait, the bar is removed. This can't go well. It. Stark is out. Cover. And that's all she wrote. That was a quick match, bro. <laughs> That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Barely. <laughs> they could have just put me in a ring with a punching bag. Well deserved win tonight. I'm pleased to see that even uh, with all the extra trappings, you're still putting your, uh, your work in the ring first. It was a great feel at the rush of the WWE Universe again. I can't help to think that something's missing, though. I should be bringing more, uh, even more uh, of my star power to WWE. If you have a specific idea, I'm happy to pitch it up uh, the ladder uh, for you. And uh, we can see uh, if you can make it happen. No need. Appreciate the offer, but Alfie's already been making some calls, and the set is almost built. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this one as well. Good evening, and welcome to Captive Audience, with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me! Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite John Cena in the blockbuster Mudslide 2, 
I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh yeah. I feel like I should get a button like that. <laughs> I can do it easily. <laughs> And there we go. Payback, Paparazzi, and we have John Cena there, Ruby, and we have Batista also Ruby unlocked, even though we didn't do his side of the quest. So we got Alfie or Chelsea Green. I think Chelsea Green was one of our first fights. We'll obviously choose Alfie first, because if we can't choose someone else, we'll, you know, have something there at least. Who's the best agent in the world? If the answer is anyone but you, it's gonna be really awkward. <laughs> it is me! I've got two words for you. Trish. Stratus. And now I got six more. Is going to be on captive. Wait, sorry, miscounted. One more. Audience! How amazing is that? That is totally amazing. I can't believe a WWE legend is gonna do my show. Is she a WWE legend too? That must be why she was so eager to come on! I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. <laughs> Most probably a screensaver for a lot of people. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week. And all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. <laughs> oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Should I drop the contracts? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. You go iron out the details. I'll go flatten Charlotte Flair. Love it! Break a leg! Not literally. Try to stay in one piece, especially your face. But go get him. Sounds good. Let's do it. The loading screen is mudslide too. Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expected to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's got to be annoyed she has so little time to prepare for Cap. She gets to face an indie vet instead of a Hall of Famer? Sounds like Charlotte's already won. I see more and more women with, like, attack twos on their ribs. Realize the amount of strength it takes. Now that I see hers also. And also in the inner bicep. It's like a woman thing. Just one step ahead. Into the corner. This can't be good. A consistent attack being mounted on Flair. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. Ooh, what a forearm club. And what a push. Ooh. Hammering down on the knee. Just muscling up their opponent. Into the gut wrench. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal forearm. Come on. Give me this. All right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. Ooh. 
She's losing all momentum here. And you know now she must rethink her strategy. The showstopper. Nothing Charlotte loves more than to gloat and say, I told All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose on her. Oh, God, knee meets face. Nothing Charlotte Flair can do now. Charlotte is kind of tight. Charlotte forced to take the loss in this one. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. That is true. That was that was that was a smackdown, literally. No pun intended. Can't really blame for losing last week. Hard to win when you are prepared for a clash between legends, not between a legend and a D's lister. Wow. Don't be so down on yourself. Feel free to pause and read all those guys. Seems like a lot of rambling happening here. Talk to me, Alfie. What do I got? Yeah. Hey. So, um... Yeah, everything good? Yeah, what's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus, yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now. Left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me. Although, Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want to. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just... I just uh. Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out, too, if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight, so I'm going to take advantage. So it's a blessing! <laughs> This is a good thing. Uh, I think I recognize all of his voice. I think he's playing a Reese in Borderlands or what's it called? Yeah, Borderlands. Uh, Tales of the Borderlands 1 and 2 also from Telltale Games. I think that's him. AKA, if you guys don't know, I think it's the same one that does uh, also Borderlands. What's his name? A handsome Jack. Maybe you guys know him more. No. But I'm going to take lemons and make lemonade. And you're going to figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you know if I get any messages. I mean, I could be wrong. It's just I recognize his voice. We're about to witness the terrifying strength of Piper Niven. Few superstars in WWE can match that power. And I don't know if there's anyone who can beat her impactful arsenal. When Piper steps between those ropes, there's little to no hope of stopping her. She looks very determined to prove just that here tonight. But she'll be facing a challenge in the form of a superstar who has a vendetta to settle. You know, this one's going to get intense judging by all the vitriol that's led up to tonight. That's Trish Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Or whoever's in control. The entrance music has an itchy finger. What the heck? It's what are you doing? Of a precarious position. And stopping away in the corner. Just ruthless. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Oh, well-placed kick. Boom. She's forced onto the defensive now. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. It's just fun, yeah? Yeah. Bro, how does Piper have her ulti already? Any resistance here. And Niven has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Able to get out of the way. I need to get her to uh She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. I think I need to steal her ulti. Three. 
the flagship show of all WWE, Monday Night Raw. The Red Brand has been home to so many sports entertainment moments, and tonight might just create a few more of those. Backbreaker. We all know targeting the back, the spine, is a great way to weaken a larger... Let's try and steal. Piper could be moments away from being beaten. Up and... There we go, we stole it. Might have ended it with her opponent's biggest weapon. Bam! Yep. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. Calls the pin off with a rope break. She returns the favor there. One response after another. Back and forth we go. And now there's an opening. Oh, and Niven turns the tables. Which is a very flexible fatty. Back in mid. Refusing to let her get into her head. Backbreaker. Oh. She was clearly waiting for that. Caught with that sharp elbow. And you know what's next, guys? Out of the jaw. Niven in big time jeopardy. by this loss. Piper Niven has a perpetual bad attitude, and you can bet this loss only made it worse. She's not going to forget this anytime soon. Good, there's way more goals wrestlers that I, I... I don't know any of them. I only know Paige for obvious reasons. <laughs> Talk to me, Alfie. What do you got for me? Eh? Tell me. What the heck was that about? Any ideas what's going on with Trish? No, but we need to back burner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> back burner? The whole somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted my show, then convinced someone to distract me with her music, Alfie. Uh huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but the set for captive audience, it's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here, and now it's not here. The whole set? So we didn't have a show today because we didn't have Trish Stratus. And now we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set. Basically, the audience might have been captive, but the set sure wasn't. Sorry, uh, too soon. I knew it was as soon as I said it, but yeah. WWE is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of. Their words, but angrier when they said it. Ugh. Great. We'll figure it out. I'll see who knows what. There's got to be someone who saw something. Yes, there has to be. But that is going to be in the next episode. <laughs> Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.